This is a harvest mouse, and until meeting up with the guys from the Ealing Wildlife Group, I don't think I'd properly appreciated just how tiny, sweet, and awesome these little guys are. Come along with us for what is quite possibly one of the most wholesome, feel-good rewilding stories I've had the chance to film so far for Leave Curious. Well, it feels good until you consider their role in the ecosystem as a bite-sized snack, but really, getting wild animals back into an urban space where people can be part of the process is what rewilding is all about. So today we're going to be meeting up with Sean from the Ealing Wildlife Group. You might remember him from the Beaver Project. And yeah, today we're going to be seeing a harvest mouse for introduction here in London. I've just pulled up at Horsedon Farm where we're going to be seeing where they've been breeding these guys, where they've been cooking these guys. Not actually cooking them, you know, they're not actually putting them in the oven. Just for clarification there. So Horsedon Farm is a beautiful little tucked away space in the borough of Ealing where the community is encouraged and able to get involved with nature. And running this project you've got Sean and the Mouse Wives. I had the pleasure of meeting Claire and Leslie. They've appropriately gained the title of Mouse Wives as they've done much of the work to get these mice ready for the reintroductions. Harvest mice are mammals. They are extremely tiny. Okay, so, oh, there is. They're tiny. Absolutely. They're tiny. way smaller than I thought. I couldn't get over just how small they are. They weigh about six grams and they're about seven centimeters in length. They've got prehensile tails, meaning they can use them as a fifth limb. And they're the only British mammals to have this skill, which they can utilize in the long grass, which is where you'll most likely find them in the wild. But with that being said, finding them in the wild would be pretty tricky. Here in the UK, they are nationally rare and they're classified as near threatened, which means they're at real risk of extinction. Habitat loss and fragmentation through intensified agriculture the loss of field margins, hedges, and the increased use of pesticides has really been the key driver in their declines. And if they're so small, why are they so important? Well, as well as being really, really tiny and sweet, they are an incredibly important part of the food chain. Think of them as an indicator species. If numbers are thriving, you can bet that the habitat is rich and is supporting insects, birds, bats, and their predators, a whole range of biodiversity. This is the breeding room, so you have to be quiet in here. This is this is where they get on with each other. You've got Scottish ones in here, you've got horse and ones from the farm, you've got Battersea ones. This is where they all this is where they all get it on, look at him. After chatting with the mouse wives, I found out that it's not easy breeding these little guys. All the mice from the different locations need to be sexed and paired up to ensure genetic diversity. They have a three week gestation period with offspring being weaned by another two weeks, which means there's a lot going on in a short space of time. And with all of these tanks, not only do Leslie and Claire and Sean have to keep on top of this, but they have to ensure that all the mice are getting enough water and food. And they do all of this as volunteers, which is really nice to see dedicated people working to bring some life back to our landscapes. So what's happening now, Sean? Are we, are we going to get them loaded up now? So we're going to get uh, eight boxes of mice, or ten boxes of mice, I think, and get them loaded up in the car, get them to their new home back in the wild. Some kind of skulls of something deceased. Oh, those are owl pellets, yeah. Owl, owl pellets, okay. Yeah, you're going to get taken by Sean down to the release site. So the mice are going to be reintroduced to a place known as Marnham Fields in Ealing. It's a really nice natural park within Greenford. We've got a, uh, quite, a, quite, quite a big volunteer group here to help us reintroduce these guys. Taking out the group before we head off. Um, so I'm just going to stand on the gate. Taking a selfie. Right. Everyone maybe quietly say, Harvest mice. Harvest mice. <laughs> okay, let's go. So what, also what we do guys is um, we want to put out mice that are unrelated together. So here we're going to mix them up. We're going to put a box of Horsenden males with a box of Scottish females and uh, hope they get along. This is prime. This is absolutely prime, prime. habitat. You've got like, basically they like the messy margins. So you've got a bramble patch meeting grassland, meeting all these umbellifers, cow parsley, hogweed, the seeds they love when later in the autumn. They'll feed on the blackberries, they'll feed on all the insects. They've got the canal on the far side and big nettle patch. Yeah. It's just basically yeah. undisturbed ground that isn't yeah, very highly managed them, yeah. and they will absolutely thrive here. Oh, oh look! Oh, where's he going? Oh, oh he's going up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a child for life. There we go. There we go, Charlie. Well done. Yay. Well done. 
go from the tube because it's a bit of a nervous one, that one. So pop it close to the, the leaves. And off it should go, yeah? And tell it, make good choices. <laughs> There was a really strong turnout from the public, people of all ages just interested and eager to be part of this fun afternoon of rewilding. And with the releases today, the project has now released over 1,000 harvest mice back into London, which is a really great accomplishment and it also gives me a catchy number I can put in the title of the video. At the heart of these projects are just good people who are often working simply because they want to do something good, they want to have an impact. So I really encourage you to go and show some love to the Ealing Wildlife Group. There'll be a link in the description to do just this. Oh, and if you want more from Leaf Curious, you can become a member here on YouTube where I share a behind the scenes vlog and exclusive content with all of my work with Leaf Curious and also what I get up to over at Mossy Earth where I also make videos on their rewilding projects. It's only like $2.99 a month and you gain a lot for that and it also supports the channel and enables me to keep creating these videos. To do this, just click join somewhere under or around this video. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Leave curious.